So today our topic is filament tracer to how to analyze, analyze the filamentous structure. I'm Arsen from uh, Imaris. I'm sales and application specialist cover rest of Asia, including Australia. If you have any questions about Imaris, you can email me directly at edna.chang at bplan.com. So here is a brief slice introduce the type of samples Imaris can, uh, filament tracer in Imaris can uh, analyze. Basically, uh, this is for the analysis of filamentous structure. So two typical examples. On the left is the tree-like branching structures, for example, the neurons. On the right is a network structure, for example, uh, the vascular system. So this is related to the algorithms in filament tracers. So on the left, we use the algorithm called AutoPass to trace the tree-like branching structures. But if there is some uh, loops in the, uh, for example, like in the network structures, there are some loops you can link from the starting point to the end and back to the starting point. These kind of structures, AutoPass will not work. So we need to use a loop, a loop algorithm called a threshold best algorithm. Okay. So the purpose of a filament tracer is mainly to analyze, uh, as I mentioned before in the previous slides, the filamentous structures and, uh, for example, uh, blood vessels, mitochondrial network, etc. So if you want to measure the lens, the diameters, or the branching points, etc then filament tracer might be the right tool for you to use. And it gives you the result in the segment properties and gives you the branch angles, number of endpoints and branch points, as, as well as the spine classifications, etc. Right, so here uh, we have automatic uh, detection algorithms including the uh, free, uh, tree without loop algorithm called AutoPass. And uh, we have also the uh, intensity-based threshold algorithm for the samples with uh, loops. This is the automatic detection. For the uh, filament tracer, we can also do uh, semi-automatic uh, tracing using the auto pass algorithm or auto depth or algorithm and the fully manual uh, tracing. So these are the different ways, different tracing methods in filament tracer. So today's learning objectives uh, is to understand how Imara's filament tracer works. Basically, to understand the different auto tracing algorithms as well as how to correct the trace results and uh, using semi automatic tracing for uh, complicated images. Also, I will show you uh, different image samples, including some uh, neurons, some blood vessels, and also. Uh, a different type and also the uh, mitochondria perhaps and give some tips about how to pre-process the image before tracing so it gives you a better clean image for for tracing and it gives you a better result okay. 